The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Martin de Canal Sur Radio. Bueno, eh... Good afternoon, Sergio. One question for Canal Radio. I would like to know, Ed, you have already listened that this is one of the biggest matches for this team for Sevilla. Are you aware of this fact? Yes, of course we are aware. We are willing to play with all our heart tomorrow. We have the perfect opportunity to make history in this club, and this is what we want. In order to pass this round of 16, what do you think is the most important thing, and what have you learned? from the last year when you lost against Leicester. I think that we have to make everything right. We will have a rival of first level tomorrow and we will have to be concentrated and we will have to be ready to play our way. One question for Antena 3. Even if the numbers are there only as figures, the UEFA is aware that this match is really important and I would like to know if the data help you. Yes, I think the data in this case are better for us and I think that this will help us in order to win this match and we would like to be on top of this competition. I'd like to know also what do you think about the UK's press that is that they are saying that Mourinho is not at the best moment no. and I would like to know what do you think about this and if this affects Sevilla no I don't think this affects us at all I think this is really important this is a really important match for us they have really good players high quality players and we will have to be ready for everything What do you think about their bueno, el, uh, about your player that will become um, left winger this first time? Well, I don't agree. He has already played in that position in other matches, and I think that he has proved himself, even if it is not his uh, natural way to play, but he will make a great role. I would like to know about the no, first no, uh, 11. If you will change your game, no. Tomorrow we will be ready and really concentrated. We will be willing to win. We want to keep on growing and we want to pass this round of 16, of course. One question from Portugal. How, what, what do you think about Mourinho regarding this match for tomorrow? Well, I think he's coming and that he will try to win this match, of course. But what we have to think is that um, we will have 11 players against 
us tomorrow and we will be aware of them. One question for ABC Sevilla. Congratulations on your pass um, for the Spanish Cup. I would like to know if you feel like you're the favorite team for this competition. Well, we think that um, maybe the Manchester being the favorite team and we uh, being the underdog um, will be an extra motivation for us. One question for the Portes Cuatro. When you're little and you want to become a footballer, you get ready for this kind of matches, right? Yes, of course, these kind of matches are really um, incredible for us with the whole stadium backing us and I would like to know also about Mourinho if you feel like he is kind of a special and if, um, he's a, if you think he's a great coach yes, I think he's a, an incredible coach I think we have a lot of respect for him but we will be concentrated on our rival team on the, their players because they will be the protagonists. I would like to know uh, what you think about the Alexis Sanchez signed up um, for the United. I think Alexis is a great player, a top player, and we know him already from his stage at Barcelona club, but I think he's a good player and really intelligent player, and he could be really a risk for us. If, if you see another yellow card, you won't be, be able to play in Manchester. What do you think about this? When you enter the field, you don't think about that kind of details. I only think about giving 100% giving my all for this club and uh, I will try not to get another yellow card but I will not be thinking of that during the match. Good afternoon Sergio, question for Estadio Deportivo. You already faced the Liverpool in the previous stage, do you think that this is a plus regarding experience for this match. Yes, I think we will have to learn from the mistakes we made in another matches and I know that uh, the rival we are facing tomorrow is a really physical team and we will have to try to not repeat the same mistakes we made in the past. The last year you tried to score with a kick from the middle of uh, the field and they would like to know if you think you could repeat that situation. Well, that is another weapon we have. We will be trying to use all our weapons and we will continue to play our way because this is how we got there. We have spoken a lot about the Manchester United as a whole, but I would like to know if you think there is a style um, in England that is typical in order to play and in regarding the teams. We will see that during the match. We have also our weapons. I think they will have to be really careful with us because we have a top quality level. And I think that they will have to be ready also. A question for El Desmarque. You think, you, you say that you don't want to think about that potential yellow card that you may see, but I would like to know what do you think about your new sign-up from the transfer market and if you think he will be ready. 
for the next que, matches. Que no well, I think bien, that um, our coach is the best person to answer this question. I think Yama is really working really well. He's given 100% and we are trying to help him a lot so he can adapt to this um, to our competitions. Hay que reclamar algo a la afición para que sea caldera mañana. Bueno, creo que Two no. questions. Que I would like to know if el que es el de you have something to say to the fans toda la for tomorrow. I think de our supporters know already no, what kind of creo que match we are facing tomorrow and I think that they will be ready. I think our Entonces, supporters love this kind of matches. They always give all of them and I, I'm sure they will be with us. And one second question I would like to know about the hymn of the, of the club. I would like to know when it comes to the Spanish hymn, I would like to know what do you think about singing the version with the lyrics in during the final of the Spanish Cup? What do you think of this possibility? Well, I don't know, and I think the hymn of our club for tomorrow's night will be the most important thing. Thank you. Vamos con Montela. No, todavía no. Nada. Questions now for the coach. Yo recuerdo cuando termine la primera pregunta. Oh, so we are not done yet. Los disparos de cámara. No, well, la prima no. Cuando termine la primera pregunta. First question, and then the photographers will have to go. Montela, pedís el turno. Se lo vamos a dar aquí a Filipo que está. These questions for the coach. No, mano. Bueno, van que da igual. Filippo first. Con las preguntas, por favor. Aquí, por favor. Manolo, Please, question for the coach. A los paisanos italianos, ¿eh? Por deferencia. First, uh, Italian sí, press, sí. please. Bueno, siempre ha habido, ¿eh? El otro día claro, también. Claro, pero digo para... Bueno, yo, cuando, si no me equivoco, pues, te voy a hacer en español. Bueno, no, 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 no. Si... Si no me equivoco, es tu segundo partido, partido en Champions. Eh, ¿Cuándo te llamaron? Eh, ¿Cuánto influyó la presencia de la Champions en tu decisión? Era, es, I think this is the first Champions match for you, and I would like to know what you think about this and if this was an influence when you were called to direct the bench of Sevilla. Yes, it's not the first match, but the second in Champions League. But I am really happy of this. Bien, bien, ha llegado y bien, so, espero, espero el día de mañana. I am really happy of being here. Sí, Irma de Alessandro, Mediaset Italia, ben trovato. Siete en un buen momento, momento tres victorias en absoluto. En eh, la tua gestión, las victorias en total son ocho. En este momento, ahora, ¿cuánto sentís tú? From your stage here in Sevilla, you have won already eight matches. And at this moment, what do you think? You think that you have already infused your style in Sevilla's football. And what do you think about this match against Mourinho? Um, first of all, from the tactical point of view, what is what you think you can do tomorrow? I am really happy with the performance of my team. We have an excellent percentage of victories, although we can still uh, have room for improvement. Mourinho was a pioneer when it comes to to tactics in football. I have read many books and um, it kind of regards also a bit to the styles in Italy, so I think Mourinho is a quite good rival. Yo creo que 
está. Ah, ok, un poco en poda. Eh. Uh, I think. Hoy el entrenador eh, tiene, tiene confianza eh, antes del match. Tiene, yo tengo mucha ilusión para mañana. So que un And poco difícil, before the match, eh, eh, I have a lot of. I am really excited with tomorrow's match and I think that we will have to be ready mentally and also physically and also our players it will be a great day a great match and I think this is the best time to prepare for this kind of match I would like to know What do you think about the experience Mourinho has regarding this kind of competition? Yeah. I don't know how many <laughs> matches Mourinho has played in this competition, but I uh, probably more than 100. So I think that it's necessary to have uh, to take experience from a conscious point of view and we will be ready and we will be willing to play this fantastic match I would like to know what do you think about Alexis Sanchez um, and I would like to know what do you think about the attacking players of uh, Manchester United yeah Alexis Sanchez I remember him really well from his stage in Italy. He has improved a lot his style during his career and I think he can be a really good player for transition and he will be really good for spaces and also I think they have a really good speed in attack. You think that it could rebound <laughs> the game? Well, maybe we could kill him or, or knock him down or something. I think that you are aware that um, of your results. In this team in Sevilla, you have already reached the final <laughs> much for the Spanish Cup. Do you think that you're a specialist for this kind of uh, competition? Well, I am really young and I have still a lot to learn. And even if I am here tonight, uh, sorry, today, maybe I have done quite a good job, right? <laughs> Okay. You've He's a really good player in Italia. We think that he non lo so. Io mi auguro che domani has <laughs> really he had really great success and he's really important. I hope that um, tomorrow he will not be able to play, so that's it. But do you expect this Manchester United side here in Seville to attack you? Ataque de Manchester. ¿Qué opinas de la potencia que tienen para atacar al Sevilla? Ma io credo che in ogni partita ci siano tante tante fasi. Sì, sì, c'è un momento che c'è da difendere, un momento che c'è da attaccare, un momento che c'è da da far venire avanti gli avversari. During each match we can see several stages and sometimes you have to defend and sometimes you have to attack and It depends. Sometimes you have to let them reach your your goal, and um, you have to know how to defend. Un 
Pogba è un, un giocatore completo, tiene forza, tiene tecnica, tiene gol. Eh, eh, he is an incredible player, he is a really complete player, he has a lot of fantastic, ripeto, mi auguro che tactical qualities. He can score even with his head, so he is an incredible player, a marvelous player, and I hope that he will not be able to play tomorrow. Um, the author of the hymn of the Sevilla was really happy that you know the hymn, and I would like to know if you will be singing it tomorrow. Nel bus, no? Sempre tenemos, eh, escuchamos el niño de Sevilla antes del match, eh, en modo, en modo per aprender el espíritu sevillista. Well, here we always listen to the hymn of the Sevilla before each match, and tomorrow I will feel this spirit I think that tomorrow I will sing the hymn will allowed and I will be really excited tomorrow I will be able to tell you a bit more but I'm, I'm sure I will have some dreams tonight We would like to know uh, what do you, what will you okay. do uh, with your bien, starting bien, eleven, bien, uh, and if uh, it will be non, similar to your Leganes. They are in good conditions. Um, yesterday they finished the training, and I think that tomorrow he will be ready to play. Also Banega. Well, we're ready to play. Good afternoon. Against Atletico de Madrid, you put your wingers a lot further, and after you played with Escudero also, um, what do you think about tomorrow's match? I think that tomorrow's match is a top level match, and we will have to be strong and really concentrated with uh, a lot of speed, uh, also physical attitudes. We will have to prove every single quality we have, and I think we will have to play with. Uh, being aware, being aware of our qualities. Dani Carrizo has suffered from a lot of injuries this last season. Yes, I um, know really well Carrizo. I know his history. He is conoce perfectamente el espíritu. Really important. Ahora está bien. For this team, now he is really well. He's feeling well. He has trained with the team. He has trained for the last two, three weeks. He's not 100% ready, but he's okay. He's doing really well. I would like to know about Muriel, who was not having a lot of matches during this year, but now he has a rich continuity with you, and I would like to know what you think about him and what have changed about this player and what Sarabia also is doing together with this player. Muriel, during this year, has improved a lot. I think the merit is all his. During the last year, he has done really well. San Paolo um, has also helped, and he has a lot of. Uh, he's always willing to sacrifice, and I think that he can keep on improving. And he will prove that he is. He has still room for improvement. 
Also, Sarabia is a really good player. And